What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony, and today we are in the new 2020 Genesis G90, courtesy of Jack Giambalvo Genesis in York, PA. Yes, I know it's icy out today. It is cold today here in Pennsylvania, but I wanted to check this one out because it has been completely redesigned for 2020. And for those of you not familiar with Genesis, Genesis is Hyundai's luxury division, kind of like Lexus is to Toyota, Acura is to Honda, and Infiniti is to Nissan, just to name a few. But essentially the G90 is going to compete with vehicles like the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, like the Lexus LS. But the kicker is with the G90, it's gonna compete with them for much less. And so today I will be testing out and going over everything about the new 2020 G90. And we'll see if it really does measure up to the Lexus LS and the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. So what do you say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so when it comes to the 2020 Genesis G90, MSRP is going to start at $72,200. And this one does come standard with the rear wheel drive configuration. If you wanted to add all wheel drive, simply add $2,500 to that price. And for comparison's sake, Lexus LS starts at $75,450. Mercedes-Benz S-Class sedan starts at $94,250, so substantially less money than that Mercedes-Benz S-Class, but nonetheless, there will actually be two different power plants for the Genesis G90, first one being a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6, if that engine sounds familiar, yes, it is the same engine found in vehicles like the Genesis G80 Sport and the Genesis G70 as well. But so when configured with that engine setup, power numbers come in at 365 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. 376 pound-feet of torque available at 1300 rpm again power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here but zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 5.4 seconds which is quite impressive for the size of the sedan that the g90 actually is top speed 155 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 17 in the city 25 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so then the other engine setup available for the G90 is going to be a five liter naturally aspirated V8, putting out 420 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 383 pound-feet of torque available at 5,000 RPM, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, same transmission, the eight speed automatic with paddle shifters, MPGs on that one, 16 in the city, 24 on the highway, same zero to 60 time as well. So really the main difference between those two different engine setups is that the twin turbo V6 is going to give you more of an initial punch, whereas the naturally aspirated V8 is going to give you more of a smoother acceleration from the get-go. Nonetheless, before we do any kind of accelerations or anything like that, I do want to mention there are some driving modes for the Genesis G90. That button is located directly to the left of the shifter. Those driving modes will include comfort, eco, sport, and custom, adjusting things like the throttle response, shift points, steering sensitivity, and the suspension setup as well. And I'll get more into that suspension setup because it definitely is quite nice a little later in the video but for now let's go ahead and just push the drive mode button that is going to put us into that sport driving mode and it did immediately downshift for me so it is going to hold the rpms at a much higher level giving you more power on demand and let's uh let's do a quick little paddle shifter test here let's see how quickly these paddle shifters here are going to react for us there we go All right, so the paddle shifters do have a slight delay to them, but then again, who really cares? This isn't a sports car. 99% of the people driving this thing are not going to be using the paddle shifters. So let's just go ahead and take it out of that paddle shift mode. Simply just don't press anything and the car will take over full control once again. And now let's let the car do its thing and let's do a quick little acceleration test here. And let's see how quickly the Genesis G90 gets up to speed here by itself. All right, you guys, and here we go. Oh my goodness. Gosh darn you twin turbo V6. <laughs> dang man. Oh, I'm sorry, I went over the line a little bit, but dang, that acceleration was ridiculous. That thing definitely, you could feel it in your stomach. That was absolutely ridiculous. I'm always impressed with that twin turbo V6, no matter if I tested in the G70 or the G80 Sport. And another plus to that engine setup, you guys, is Genesis's warranty is 10 years, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. So if you're thinking to yourself, I don't know, it's a twin turbo V6. It's, uh, I don't know how reliable it's gonna be. You get 10 years. 
that twin turbo V6 is gonna be covered under warranty for 10 years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first, but still 10 year warranty on the engine is amazing and that engine is brilliant. That was an amazing acceleration, even in a larger vehicle like the G90, that was breathtaking. But so anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 14.2 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.4 inch ventilated rear discs, as far as the braking feel goes. Dang, that was not, that was, yeah. <laughs> Certainly no issues with coming to a stop. There's no brake pedal delay or anything like that as well. So that's definitely also a plus. Touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get an independent strut type front suspension in the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. But like I was mentioning earlier, I alluded to this, there is an adaptive suspension system that does come standard on the Genesis G90. And this is brilliant reason being is because adaptive suspensions really with any manufacturer, they give you the best of both worlds. So it's not only going to soak up the roads imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but if you go around the turns a little faster on some back roads perhaps it is going to tighten up that suspension as well giving you better handling so again hence the term best of both worlds so that is probably what makes this car absolutely brilliant because when it comes to ride quality it is 100 percent on point one of the smoothest rides i've experienced in quite a while to be quite honest definitely on par with the lexus ls i haven't driven the s-class sedan in a couple years now but the lexus ls it feels just as good as that so definitely an insanely nice ride quality as far as cabin noise goes i feel like i'm super loud in this video maybe i should quiet down a little bit but cabin noise is almost unheard of i haven't experienced a cabin this quiet again in quite a while genesis really nailed it with this g90 so far as far as driving dynamics go and really some of the best parts is in the back seat and we'll get more into that later but as far as steering feel goes it's pretty much as expected even in that sport driving mode it's not the heaviest thing in the world but still it's as expected for a car like the genesis g90 so no complaints from me there touching on visibility i could see perfectly fine out the back and of course to go along with that visibility you do a rain sensing windshield wipers that is going to come standard as well meaning when the g90 starts to detect any kind of rainfall or mist the windshield wipers will automatically turn on for you so one less thing you have to worry about kind of like automatic headlights in addition to that also when it comes to visibility i'm looking at a head-up display right now it's going to give me things like the speed limit the speed i'm currently going and safety features are going to be displayed up on your windshield as well so that is definitely a plus once again helps you keep your eyes better on the road so it's a safety feature in itself and last thing i wanted to mention when it comes to visibility and this is the really the best part is when you do put the turn signal on you actually have a digital view of what is to the left or to the right of you displayed in the center digital gauge display so it is going to show you what is in your blind spot whether it be you changing lanes on the highway or simply just making a left or right turn it is going to show you what's in your blind spot once again really keeping you safe in this Genesis G90. So that is something you don't see in the majority of other vehicles out there right now. So that is a huge plus as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beautiful 2020 Genesis G90. All right, here she is, you guys. The new 2020 completely redesigned Genesis G90. And by the way, a little fun fact for you, the exterior of the G90, of the 2020 G90 is almost all new with the exception of the roof and the doors being carried over from the 2019 G90. So everything else on this thing is completely redone. Another thing I wanna show you guys before I even get into the front of this thing. And so our exterior here is finished in Victoria black. And when the sun hits this thing just right, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it or not. You can actually see all the little flakes in this black paint. It looks absolutely amazing. Definitely am a huge fan of this paint on this G90. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the front of the G90. First thing, most obvious thing I wanted to mention as far as changes go, revised front grille. It is a much more bold, much more pronounced, definitely makes a statement on that front grille there. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but that rectangular box towards kind of the middle of the front grille, you almost can't see it, but that is actually the sensor for the adaptive cruise control system. And it is incorporated quite well, in my opinion. You definitely won't be able to tell from a distance. You of course can see it up close, but they did an amazing job incorporating that into the front grille. Of course, just above that, you have the Genesis 
logo, which again is a little bit bigger for the 2020 G90 as well. So that definitely looks good too. To the sides, full LED headlights, meaning both low beam and high beam will come standard with LED accents. Of course, you're gonna get the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Turd signal lights. This is another cool little feature of the G90. They're actually larger than the headlights, or that I should say they go on a bit longer than the headlights onto the side there. And then those turn signal lights continue onto the front fender as well. They are absolutely out there and in your face. They are quite large, but again, definitely makes a statement. So for that reason, I am a huge fan. So front end definitely looks good on this one. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side. And so when it comes to the side of the G90, chrome window surrounds will come standard. Chrome striping on the side skirts definitely ties together well with the chrome window surrounds, of course. Body colored power adjustable heated side mirrors coming standard as well. Taking a look down at the wheel setup, you guys are probably used to seeing at this point the 19 by 9.5 inch alloy wheels. And these are the same size, but they are a slightly different design more towards the 2019 design and more of a gunmetal finish as well. So we do have some optional wheels on this particular G90. So did want to mention that. One of the coolest features about this one, and I do remember this testing out Mercedes S-Class, is soft closed doors. So when you actually open this up, if you forget to close the door all the way, it'll kind of suck it in like a vacuum. So again, let me show you guys here, get a better angle. That's pretty cool. But so anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side. Make our way to the back shark fin antenna up top, just below that LED taillights with the LED light bar going across the entire trunk there. Definitely makes a statement. Once again, I feel like I keep saying that. Chrome accenting on the lower portion of the rear bumper. I love the Genesis logo spelled out horizontally as well. And of course, just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with bright tips. So do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around back, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob. That's probably the simplest way. There's also a button by the driver's side left knee. And perhaps my favorite way to go about opening that rear trunk is there is a stealthy looking button found just above the Genesis lettering on the trunk itself. And that button is definitely one of a kind. You almost never see a button like that just randomly in the middle of the trunk there. So that is probably my favorite way to go about opening the rear trunk there. But if you wanted a hands-free trunk, it does come standard. So with the key in your pocket, simply walk up to the trunk there, stand there for approximately three seconds, and then the trunk will automatically open up for you. So that is yet another way to go about opening that one. But once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 15.7 cubic feet. I love the carpeting. Of course, you have your standard rear trunk, but the carpeting is so thick. And the Genesis G90. I guess it is to be expected. This is a luxury vehicle, but I definitely was quite a fan of that. Of course, you have cargo lighting back there. So it is a pretty standard truck back there, but it is quite large. I will say that. Make our way to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 37.8 inches. And like I was mentioning earlier, this is where the fun really kicks in. Let me explain. And first, let me go over the over the top features, I'm going to call it. So with the five liter V8, that is actually going to add a substantial bit more for the rear passengers, including a rear seat entertainment system with dual 10.3 inch HD monitors, also 14 way power adjustable right rear seat, 12 way power adjustable left rear seat, power adjustable rear headrest. And by the way, we have power adjustable front headrest here, but the power adjustable rear headrest Rest. That's amazing. Ventilated rear seats, memory settings for up to two rear passengers, and rear seat illuminated vanity mirrors found on the ceiling of the G90. So that's pretty cool too. But the standard setup, the one we have today, heated rear seats, of course, power rear sunshade, which can be controlled on the center rear armrest there. I'll show you guys how to do that but also power side window sunshade. And that could be controlled by using the buttons on the door. So both rear passengers have their own buttons on the door to control those power side window sunshades as well. So that is pretty cool. And by the way, those power side window sunshades, that does include the smaller rear quarter windows too. So they were not overlooked. And the attention to detail is absolutely amazing on this G90. Of course, you have your rear coat hanger holders and they are gonna be finished in a silver. So when you pick your suit up from the dry 
cleaner simply hook it on to those silver coat holders and that is what they will be there for rear ventilation of course as expected the g90 does come with three zone climate control rear center armrest with cup holders and those rear passengers can also of course adjust the radio from their rear center armrest as well that is an amazing feature in itself so all in all the back seats are definitely where it's at but now let's make our way to the front seats 22 way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar power shoulder adjustments and power bolster adjustments and power headrest adjustments so that is where the 22 way i guess comes in but if you can't find your perfect driving position in the g90 i'm not sure you ever will quite honestly but heated and ventilated front seats coming standard they will come standard with a napa leather finish very high-end finish there but perhaps my favorite part about the interior leather finish is the fact that it comes in several different color options you do have a beige option for the seating and leather finishes you also have a saddle brown finish and perhaps my favorite a blue finish so i love this and one of the coolest things about all those finishes is it does continue onto the steering wheel as well so if you get the blue leather you get a blue steering wheel that's awesome i love that it's so bold just like the exterior of the g90 seats are definitely quite comfy i was kind of worried about the quilted leather the diamond quilted leather whether that would feel awkward but it actually feels quite nice i actually do like that but i think one of the quirkiest features about the g90 is there is a smart button on the driver's side door if you hit that smart button, it will give you options on the infotainment screen here for you to enter your height, your pants inseam length, and your weight. So by doing that, the Genesis G90 is actually going to customize that driving position to what it feels is going to be the most comfortable for you. So let's go ahead and try to do that. I guess you guys will know all my digits here now. So I found that quite quirky and quite interesting. So I do like that feature. I always like different. That was pretty darn cool. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the steering wheel. Like I was mentioning, it is tilt and telescoping. It is power adjustable leather wrapped. It does come heated. All of this is pretty standard, but but again, the best part for me at least is that the color of the seats does continue onto the steering wheel. Now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup here. And let me first start by showing you guys the key. You do have your Genesis logo on the one side and when you flip it around, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch. But it is, of course, all keyless entry. So simply just leave the key in your pocket. And you, of course, can get in and out of the G90. And to actually start this one up, there is a engine start button located just by the driver's right knee, finished in silver. So all I am going to do is simply just put my foot on the brake there and press that engine start button. And so, but then once started up, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display there are steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there of course it's going to display your driving modes up there also your average miles per gallon you can choose to display your tire pressure up there there is a digital speedometer although it is actually on the windshield as well as i was previously saying going to tell you your outside temperature it's all pretty basic actually this is probably the one thing i wish genesis would have uh, altered a little bit it would have been cool to see a matching digital display kind of tied in all together with the infotainment screen so uh, digital display up there hopefully that's coming in the future but that's just my personal preference not a huge deal quite honestly but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality you will find a power moonroof coming standard and since we're looking up microfiber suede headliner that's always one of my favorite parts about luxury vehicles that really just does take it over the top so i'm actually a huge fan of that there is an analog genesis clock found front and center tri-zone climate control as i was mentioning earlier you do have an overhead sunglass holder on the roof there as well also home light controls for up to three different garage doors found on the rear view mirror there wood trim finishes throughout specifically walnut wood trim finishes ambient lighting coming standard as well i do like the aluminum trim accent found around the passenger side glove box there and actually when you open up this glove box you guys got to check out how freaking thick this owner's manual is good thing we have automotive youtubers to simplify things that is a massive owner's manual but nonetheless aluminum trim accents do tie together quite well they're going to be found in the doors that continue onto the door handle and then continuing to the memory seat buttons of course just to the right of the shifter you do have a usb charging port as well as your wireless phone charger that is where you're going to put that and i like that it's facing down actually so it doesn't slide around as much so that is definitely a good design idea on genesis's part there just behind the shifter you have your heated steering wheel button i don't think i've mentioned that yet also dual cup holders again that wood trim finish as well and if you were wondering how to open the center armrest between the driver and passenger it is not something you lift up you simply press one button 
and it magically opens up for you. That is quite nice. You almost never see that, so I have to mention it. And once inside, you have a decently deep storage area, two 12 volt power outlets. You usually just see one and a nice little tray area up top as well. So overall interior quality is 100% on point even around the shifter it is a stitched leather finish there is almost no plastic in this thing which is a good thing of course being a luxury vehicle but the high-end finishes definitely are quite nice anyways now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display 12.3 inch color touchscreen display will come standard and of course that comes with bluetooth and audio streaming android auto apple carplay and there are two ways to control what is up on that screen there is a circular dial and buttons located just behind the shifter but it actually is a touchscreen as well although while you're driving i would imagine nobody is going to be using that touchscreen it is something that you're going to be using when you're parked so definitely easy to use the circular dial and buttons while you're actually driving but of course you have a ton of things you could check out you could check out your climate control settings there's some weather information driving statistics perhaps my favorite part about the genesis g90 though is the voice memo section this is something that 99 percent of cars out there don't have so once you select that there is a record button where you can record your voice and then play it back let's give it a shot congratulations on your purchase of your new 2020 genesis g90 what an amazing vehicle. So whichever customer gets this, I'm sorry, but that was a pretty cool saying I like to think. But anyways, let's go ahead and play it back real quick. Congratulations on your purchase of your new 2020 Genesis G90. What an amazing vehicle. All right, that was kind of lame, but still, it is pretty cool that it does that. I gotta be honest, no other vehicles do that. So you can record your super intelligent, awesome thoughts at any time in the Genesis G90 so you don't forget them. That is wonderful. Of course, you have factory navigation system coming standard. You have your radio information. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will find coming standard a 17 speaker Lexicon sound system with 900 watts and some of the coolest speaker covers out there right Right now so what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one they'll tell a swift for you in the morning but dang ton of clarity i think that is probably the best part about that sound system the clarity is 100 percent on point definitely more than enough bass more than enough of a sound system for the genesis g90 without a doubt Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the G90 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera. But in addition to that, a 360 degree monitor as well, of course, letting you know who or what is behind you and completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. It's the first thing I wanted to mention. There are actually nine new safety features for the 2020 G90, comparatively speaking to the 2019 at least. These nine new safety features are going to include highway driving assist, lane following assist, rear cross traffic avoidance assist, parking collision avoidance assist, blind spot monitor, a slowdown function for highway curves, safe exit assist for rear doors, and an update to the forward emergency braking system to detect lane changes and oncoming traffic as well. And so in addition to that, of of course, you have front side side curtain airbags, but also driver and passenger knee airbags in the back. You're going to find latch and rear child door locks. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel. After all, if you want to support the channel, got some merch just below the video, but that is about it for this one. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Sweet.